Hello children, just going to talk to you for a little while now. Have you ever had a surprise? Perhaps somebody burst a balloon behind you with a loud bang. That's quite a surprise, isn't it? Perhaps not a very nice one. Or maybe one Saturday, your mum woke you up and said, quick, get your t-shirt and shorts on. We're going to the beach for the day. That's a lovely surprise, isn't it? Were you listening to the Bible reading today? There were quite a few surprises, weren't there? Do you remember the disciples were all together in the house? And then there was a great rushing noise, like wind. It filled the house. It was quite a surprise, really, isn't it? And then it was like flames of fire dividing up and settling on each disciple. Well, that's quite a surprise as well. It was the coming of the Holy Spirit. Jesus had promised that he would come, but they hadn't expected it to be like that. And the story said that the Holy Spirit filled them. Well, with all that commotion, lots of people came to the house to see what was going on. And when the disciples started to speak, everybody could hear them in his own language. Now that is surprising, isn't it? So there we are. Three surprises. But there's more. Do you remember who it was who started talking to the crowd? Do you remember his name? Yeah, it was Peter. Now, I think you remember Peter, don't you? Last time I talked to you about Peter, he was very, very ashamed because he said he didn't know Jesus at all. He was a coward and afraid. And now here he is standing up in front of everybody, explaining the Bible to them and telling them that Jesus was the Son of God. He even told them that Jesus' death was their fault. He's really changed, hasn't he? And four surprises. No, there are five. What happened when the people heard what Peter had to say about Jesus dying on the cross? Do you remember? They said, Oh, we are so sorry. We were wrong. Jesus is the Son of God. We believe it. Now that is very surprising because when Jesus lived among them, they didn't believe him. But this is the work of the Holy Spirit changing people's minds, changing people's hearts. That day, the church started to grow and it's still growing today. The Holy Spirit is still working, changing people as they hear about Jesus. Do you know the work? of the Holy Spirit.